it's comfy. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of living in Tequesta, Florida, and we're going to be getting into the real honest truth. So if that's what you're looking for, make sure you stick around. In this channel, I do videos every day about what it's like to live, eat, sleep, and play, everything you need to know about living in Tequesta, Florida. So if that's the information you want, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell so that you can be notified every time a video is uploaded. Let's do the pros first. So obviously we are so close to the beach and that is a huge reason why a lot of people move to Tequesta. Um, you can bike to the beach if you really want to. We can walk to a little um, intracoastal waterway area. It's about a little less than a mile away. Um, so that is a huge pro. Driving to the beach is maybe two minutes. It's like two stoplights, maybe three, and a bridge. Another huge pro is Tequesta is a very family-oriented and family-friendly city, technically a village. Um, they just redid our playground, park area. There's a lot of monthly activities for the kids. Um, they'll do a food truck at Constitution Park every month. Around the holidays, they have the Easter Bunny and they have a pie run. And um, I think last year they did something with Santa. So it's a huge family oriented city and you always see lots of families walking and with their dogs, and it's just a really nice feel. Another pro is the restaurants that we do have in Tequesta are all really, really good. Um, we only have a handful, but I can honestly say I don't think any of them are awful. Um, there's an awesome breakfast place called the Lighthouse Diner. There's a ton of awesome dinner places, lots of great coffee places, and there's just something for everyone. There's a taco place, a pizza place, an Italian place. They're going to be building a Chinese sushi kind of mixed place. So we do have really good restaurants here in Tequesta, even if there are only about a handful. The last two pros of living in Tequesta are honestly the most simple. Um, every time you drive home, you're most likely driving over a bridge, so you can kind of take the stress away of whatever you were doing at work that day, or maybe the traffic jam that you just got stuck in, and you can look over the water, see the Jupiter Lighthouse. It's just a really pleasant experience, and if you're driving home around sunset, or even driving out to work on sunrise if you have to get up that early, it's such a nice reminder about where we live and how we live in paradise and it's just it's such a good feeling to make that drive um definitely a blessing and i think what i love most about living in tequesta florida is it does have that small town feel and like i said it's extremely family oriented there's a cute quaint little downtown area that we can walk to um but we're still really close to jupiter and all of the things that a larger city brings and we're only a 30 minute drive from the closest airport and West Palm if there is something that we really want to do down there. So those are the pros. Now for the cons. This is what everyone's been wanting to hear about. This is where we get into the real stuff. Now for the cons. I do have a video that goes a little bit deeper into this 10 reasons why living in Tequesta may not be the city for you, but a brief overview of why or of what the negatives are of living in Tequesta. Um, there's really only one grocery store and that grocery store is Publix. Now they do have um, the shipped service so you can get your groceries delivered, but as far as prices go, if you wanna go to Aldi, you're gonna have to go into Jupiter over the bridge um, and over a couple train tracks, which is another con because if you are stopped at the train tracks, it can add on a lot of time to your trip. Um, I think I was taking my son to school one day and we caught the train on the way there 
and then I dropped them off and came back and I caught it again. And so I had a lot of windshield time and I spent that time scrolling on Instagram and not being useful with my time. So, I mean, it's great for those moments when you want to catch up on things, but if you're not mindful about what you're doing, you can easily spend 10 minutes just wasting time at the train tracks versus being productive. Um, same thing with the bridges. They can be a hassle to get through. Sometimes they get stuck in the up position and so that's always fun. A huge con about living to Cuesta is the housing inventory is so low that if you really want to be in this neighborhood, you might have to wait a little bit of time or have a really, really good realtor who either um, can find you an off-market property or who's really good at winning offers because, because it is so hard to get into this neighborhood. There's probably one or two homes on the market at a time in our neighborhood. Uh, so it's definitely a struggle to get in here. And once people are in this neighborhood, they tend to stay for a really long time. Um, so there's that. And the last major con that I know is really important to a lot of families is school district. So all of Chiquesta is zoned for Jupiter High School, which is an awesome high school. But middle school, I'm pretty sure is also Jupiter Middle. The elementary school, you're zoned for two different elementary schools, depending on what street you live on. And so that could be an important decision factor if you are considering moving to Chiquesta, Florida, because one of them, they're they're both great schools. I think all school ratings need to be taken with a grain of salt. However, if that's important to you and you're not going to go the private school or homeschooling route, then depending on what street you live on could determine which school you're zoned for. So that's a huge con not knowing that the entire city itself is zoned for one school versus like across the street could be another school than your street. So that's my last con. But like I said, if you want to get the real nitty gritty of reasons not to live in Tequesta, Florida, definitely head over and watch some of my other videos. So today we went over the pros and cons of living in Tequesta, Florida. And if that is not your style of city that you want to live in, make sure you reach out to me so that I can help determine what is the best match for your lifestyle and your family. The only way I can do that is for you to give me a call, text me, or email me, so do whatever suits you best. If you want to see more about living in Tequesta, Florida, make sure to check out some of my other videos. See you next time!